Salutation citizens, I'm Grim Falcon 746 and today we are looking at the RSI Scorpius Heavy Fighter. We will do some flight testing, cover loadout and suggestions, and delve into whether I think it's worth the sticker price. Of course you can find timestamps in the description below as well. Don't forget this month we are doing a giveaway, one lucky viewer will receive a Mirai Fury, check out the link in the description and pinned comment to enter. The Scorpius Heavy Fighter comes out of RSI's Expert Research and Development Department. With its adaptable bi-wing configuration and revolutionary rail-mounted remote turret, the Scorpius offers impressive fire coverage for both offense and defense. Alright, I'm guessing you didn't come here for the pamphlet paragraph. How does this thing fly? Well, I dove into the mountains on Microtech to find out. The results were, in a word, meh. Alright, I'm probably being a little harsh there. The Scorpius does handle decently, but for some reason I was expecting it to be better than it was. This being said, it does respond well and have good turning radius. I'm not exactly sure what underwhelmed me flying the Scorpius, because it certainly does handle well, but it was just a little lackluster for my expectations. Not to be deterred, I took to space and did some tight maneuvering around a station. This went fairly well, and I did feel like it lived up to my expectations here. Cutting close to the station, weaving in and around obstacles, it handled well enough to get the job done. Overall, the flight tests were a success despite my misgivings about the atmospheric handling. So let's talk weapons and components. The Scorpius comes equipped with four size 2 CF-227 Badger laser repeaters, bringing a pilot DPS to the table of 612 sustained, 1600 burst, along with 160 alpha damage. I would swap those out for the FL-22 laser cannons. This will bump your pilot DPS to 977 sustained, 1613 burst, as well as more than double your alpha damage up to 440. The stock turrets comes with four size 3 CF337 Panther laser repeaters, which carry a DPS of 1130 sustained, 2000 burst, and 240 alpha damage. I would take those off and drop in four FL33 laser cannons, which will increase your sustained DPS to 1444. Your burst DPS will remain unchanged for 2000, but your alpha damage will jump to a whopping 600. The missile damage starts at 26,724 with 16 size 2 Tempest 2 missiles. I toss those in the scrap heap in favor of the bullet 2 missiles and increase your total payload to 44,790 damage. The equipped shield is a size 2 full stop, which I would change out for a rampart, which will bring your shield HP up to 10,375 from 9,000. The power plants, coolers, and quantum drive don't really need to be upgraded in my opinion, and the listed upgrades would run you just over 170,000 AUEC and are worth every penny. Now let's take a look at the main feature, the rail mounted turret. From the top position, it has a very good field of view, able to sweep 360 degrees and cover everything above the hull at the top position. It is phenomenal. But that's not the whole story here. Considering this is marketed as a rail mounted gun, what about the second position? I was rather disappointed. Its horizontal coverage is only about 120 degrees, meaning about two thirds of the ship is outside of its field of view from the lower position. While this does have uses, I think the top position is better for virtually all situations. You can get the Scorpius from New Deal in Lorville for just under 2.9 million AUEC or from time limited sales from the pledge store for 240 US dollars. So the question remains, is it worth it? I have to say no. While it is an interesting ship, if you compare it to other heavy fighters such as the Vanguard Warden, which for an extra 20 USD in the pledge store, or about another 500,000 AUEC in the verse, and it packs much more of a punch, in addition to having an extra size 2 shield, I can't say that the Scorpion is worth the price when its only major selling feature is the rail mounted gun that had such a poor lower field of view that it's not really worth it in my opinion. Overall, the Scorpius is certainly different, but different doesn't always mean better. Thank you for watching my review of the RSI Scorpius Heavy Fighter. If you liked the video, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel as it really does help out. If you have any thoughts or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep flying, stay safe, and don't do anything I wouldn't do.